Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the real United States. And welcome to the Anacostia River. We're here on the banks of the Anacostia, across from the U.S. Navy Yard in Washington, D.C. And in the background here is the USS Berry. The Berry is uh, now decommissioned, but this is a Forrest Sherman class destroyer that was launched in 1955. It's about 416 feet long, if memory serves me correctly. Got a 45-foot beam. This boat predominantly served in the Caribbean and in also in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic Fleet. It did serve in Vietnam, though, and most notably, it served in the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. Now, the Berry has been here since 1982 when it was decommissioned. So it served from its launch in 55 to 82, was decommissioned and then brought here and used essentially as a display piece where people could come and tour the ship and find out all about the naval hardware of that era. Well, as of this year, unfortunately, we discovered that it has been closed because a nearby bridge is going to be rebuilt. Instead of a bascule bridge, they're going to put in a fixed bridge. And what's going to happen is that it would be landlocked then. So unfortunately, the Berry is going to be towed out and disassembled, torn down, and scrapped and recycled. So unfortunately, I will not be able to share with you the interior of the Berry. Uh, the ship is actually named for Admiral Berry, one of the naval historical figures that I've mentioned before in our episode from Philadelphia and Independence Hall was uh, of paramount importance in the original formation of the United States Navy and a hero, of course, of our revolutionary period. So this beautiful naval warship museum now is unfortunately going to be no more sometime probably in the next few months. They're going to tow it out of here, I understand, sometime before October of this year. It's early July right now. Now, if you can see where it's parked here at the United States Navy Yard, and there are a couple of smokestacks, this particular shot, although shot from maybe 200 yards or 300 yards a little further downstream, this particular shot, for those of you that are avid television buffs, may recognize was used as a shot in the CBS series NCIS on at least two separate occasions. And I know that being a fan myself, on one particular occasion, it was around the holidays and the berry was decorated for the holidays with lights hanging down from its uh, higher structures there and whatnot. So go back for those of you that are hardcore NCIS fans and look and you will see this shot of the USS Berry in the foreground of the offices of the US Navy Yard. Those smokestacks are a big uh, flag that uh, you'll be able to recognize real easy. So it's kind of neat to be able to get down here and see something that we've, you know, seen in shows on television, a very, you know, obviously very famous spot. Now, unfortunately, the weather's looking kind of grim for us. We haven't got the greatest of light, but, and it's getting towards evening here in D.C. That's Nationals Park off in the distance behind that. You've, uh, we've also shown you that from the other side. And the, uh, the Anacostia, Kind of a kind of a lot of silt in it and whatnot. It's not a real clear river, but it's uh, actually has a lot of historical significance. I, I won't bore you with the details about the history of the Anacostia River and the role it's played in colonial America. Certainly a very beautiful view across here on the the city walk that runs along by the Navy Yard. But I just wanted to bring you down here and I wanted to show you the USS Berry before they towed her away and scrapped her out. It's such an iconic symbol here in, in front of the Navy Yard that it was something we wanted to record for posterity. So I hope you've enjoyed this short visit to the USS Berry, the Forrest Sherman class destroyer, and the United States Navy Yard here in Washington, D.C. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that if you haven't already, that you'll pick subscribe and come along for the adventure. We love having everybody with us. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I try to get back to everybody I can. And as always, thank you for watching.